Hello, welcome back. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you my uh, pond maintenance today because um, anyone looking to, you know, to have a koi pond, it's not all rosy. <laughs> I do this every Sunday and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a chore. It's definitely a chore. Um, just really quickly, on the, um, so I'm not buying bulk food in bulk at the moment because obviously we're going into winter aren't we so but I've been using this and it ticks all the boxes like 49 percent protein ponds in at like 15 so I just I can just about get away with this but um you know it's got prebiotics in it garlic growth colour it's, it's just it's got everything you need um unfortunately the waste it leaves just, just bear in mind if you, if you get it's good food but the waste is just horrendous um, to make matters worse, um, the kids were feeding the fish last night, and uh, apparently, because I was out, you know, they were just chucking the food everywhere near the skimmer. So I've got loads and loads of food in the skimmer. So I was, well, I'm glad I'm cleaning it today. I would have cleaned it anyway because the amount of food that's got in there, you can see it all in there. Look. So yeah. Usually I find about one or two or, you know, just a couple in this brushes. Um, yeah, so this gets done every Sunday, but as you can see, you see their moving beds dropped, which means that the, that the uh, obviously the, the filter sponges are blocked up. It's just a rock holding them down as they float. Um, so yeah, definitely needs doing. Um, yeah, so I thought, I, I don't think I've done it filter clean video on this uh, this one anyway so um yeah let's do that fish are all right i'll just put a clip in about this fish here uh probably coming out again i tried to uh fix its scale but it needs to be pulled up you can see it that'll probably be coming off today i'll just put a little video in now of what i've done yeah, definitely a new camera yeah so this time it's like it was a do it's crash mango crash boy now it's the uh it's brother, which is just the standard, you know, the yellow. Um, you see it's left out one at the top there now. Massive scale hanging off of it. Where is it down there? So that's, the, that's the mango one, that was what? That's that's recovered. So, where is it? Where are you gone? I think it knows, it's just got the blue bowl out, so it knows it's getting... It knows it's going to get captured. Where is it? I can't really find it there. Oh, that one. That's over there on the right hand side now. Um, anyway, I'll bowl it up and I'll show you that way because I can't, it ain't coming over. Oh, um, oh there it is. To the left hand side, a massive scale hanging off on the left hand side. See it? It's really solid. Go out. Alright, he's Sparko. It's got an anarchy mat, wet cloth, pond water. Yeah, uh, great. So they keep, I swear they know the season's coming to an end because they're, they're so um, aggressive for food and they keep these big plated scales, keep knocking them. It's got like a red wound here as well. Uh, but I'll just flip them over. There, yeah, oh, that's painful. Look at that. Oh dear, what have you done? I hate doing this and filming it. Oh, he's dirty his bloody dorsal anal fin. He's, he's torn his anal fin as well. What have you done? Look at that. Poor bugger. And they're coming off. Yeah, I think I'm taking them off. But look at his anal fin as well. Fuck's sake. Not having much luck. Anyway, I'm gonna treat him, put him back. But he's not looking good, is he? Um. Yeah, look at his done. 
catch you later. Oh, she's back in, but to be honest, I'm not looking great. Um, I couldn't get the scales off. They were absolutely. I've had to. I've had to make an incision. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. Uh, I've done a scrape. So I'm just gonna go and check this now. Um, should have done this before I sedated them because now the parasites might have gone sleepy boys but um yeah so we're gonna have a look at this now the other day but, um yeah and I need a lid for that otherwise the animal police are gonna be on me because we had a hedgehog in there and you know I love hedgehogs so you know it's probably just walking along and went boosh straight in poor fella so <laughs> yeah anyway yeah so um then we're gonna get a tripod I do it do it on a tripod. Right. Cheers. Right, before I stick you on a tripod, I'll just um so pumps on, this is how I do it, everyone does it differently. Um so I turn the skimmer line off. Yeah. That's off, and then I pump out the water as much as I can. So that's still on. It just drops the water level a little bit. Um, look at all that food in there, bloody Pestering kids. You've got to get food out of your filters ASAP because they're going to start going all fluffy and that. That's just really bad. Um, See, so right, that's nearly dropped now. Okay. There's a lot, there is a lot of uh, media in there. I've got, got my hand down there, that was hopeless. Um, right, and then pump stop. Oh, 30 watts. Pump stop, and then shut the valve, because there's no normal turn valve on there, so that'll just basically, that underwater return, and end up filling this back up. Um, yeah, right, let's get you on the tripod then. I'll pick the camera up to show you how much dirt these multi bones so pick up. But so coil measuring bolt down there. Start with the brushes. That's oh, absolutely mean. So much food in this. I'm not happy. But down there. Never usually this amount of food in there. Right, I'll pick you up and show you how dirty this is. Right, check this out. Yeah, I'll put the glass in there. Yeah, see the colour of that water? Absolutely million. Yeah, so that's just the first one, the uh, vortex part. Um, so let's go and drop this now, you can see the colour of it. That bloody duckling, like, mother-in-law, she might never chuck it out. Must have been it. Right, let's open this up. Join that off, sorry. Yeah. See how dark that water is. So it'll be green. The duck and swimming again. Oh, created a vortex. 
No, lovely job. Lock. Turn around. So what I do here is you can either just get the O's or I, I turn to fish out the bad stuff with this and see what that gap in there like. just make sure you get it all out really um, anyway yeah I'll put you back on the tripod and have a look at these sponges next See all this food here, yeah, look. It's, it's everywhere. Yeah, you can see it on camera, the amount of gack on that. Oh, right, stick that in there. Think of course. Bloody kids in there, come on. Yeah. The medium. And the fine one. Yeah. I've got two other. Two other coarse ones, but actually cotton toy ones. Um, they just sit on the uh, egg plate at the bottom. Um, all the fines in there, million. Right, I'm going to dump this and then uh, start cleaning the sponges in it. Right, all nice and clean. So, yeah, so people get into the pond game. I do this every Sunday. If I don't do it, the filters block, fish get sick, etc. etc. Oh, my drain away is working pretty well now. So, if I drop the vortex and the uh, the second chamber, it overflows no, by about an inch, you get a bit of water down here. Um, that's just that's not usually there, it's just because I've, I've just hosed that down and forgot to <laughs> shut that off. Um, but yeah, um, and this is just filter one. I need to get the sponges out of that, and I've got to do the easy pod. So um, yeah, it's it's not all fun and games. Um, probably takes me about an hour to do this. Uh, anyway, let's check it out. Let's refill that. Shut that off. Over there. Open this back up. Swirling nice. I don't use it as a vortex because it's on the it's on the skimmer line, but if I had it on the bottom drain, vortex all day long. Yeah, so I always get this before I fill do the other filter. But I want the uh, I don't want the moving bed dry. Yeah, it's looking much better. And I don't put the brushes in straight away, so what I actually use it as a vortex when I refill it and I'll just leave it for a bit. So only big stuff that's still in the pipe. I could just nip fish it out basically, so that, that stuff there. Um, yeah, let's go check out the easy pod. Right, check this out. 
Welcome to the snow globe. The state of that. Right, this is a boil one. Um, I'll do this two or three times, depending on how bad it is. Um, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely mean. Cut out then, sorry. Um, yeah, it's absolutely minging. So, I mean, this is what it is, isn't it? Right, let's dump this and have a look how bad the water really is in there. Um, just get a tripod on up there. All right, see how bad. This is just one week's worth. This is rank, isn't it? Doing the part of that for a million quid, would you? Yeah, it probably works, wouldn't it? So that's what it looked like in the pod. Just trying that. Oh! You still want to build a pond? Nah, I really hope you do, yeah. I'm just showing you the downside of things, I suppose. Um, some people enjoy it. Um, don't enjoy it as, as much now, but... I don't know. I'll probably end up getting one of them people getting a drum, to be honest. But, um, Yeah, right, so I need to get the sponges. Got sponges in that DIY backy shower. Now, look how clean this is now, look. Beautiful. Crystal clear. So, you notice the moving bed's down, it's because of the water level. Yeah? So, obviously, it's gravity fed, everyone's got to work in harmony. That's. Now, I dumped the easy pod, lowers the level. It's going to lower this, obviously. Um, if you don't know about gravity fed system, yeah. Um, I think it's a much better system gravity fed, but you know, pump fed's really good as well. Um, obviously, make sure you fit a float switch. But, um, anyway, yeah, so in here, I think get through the cobwebs. What else to say? In there, do you see in there? Yeah. So you've just got three sponges in there as well. And then, so, there's like a recess. So halfway up here, it's absolutely disgusting. Halfway, half of this is like Alpha Grog and bio, bio home and um, pumice and stuff, and then you've got then the bottom ones is completely Alpha Grog, pumice and bio home. But, uh, get these out. Have a look if they uh, Dog sitting again. Hey! What's that, though? No, nah, not interested. No. Yeah. Yeah, so that bottom one's minging. Uh, right, let's get his clean then. Right, this is Easy Pod Drop 2. So I'll just go and get out of control. So at this point I know when if I need to drop it a third time and uh, it's going to be a definite yes. I knew the state of that still. So that's 160 litres of water. 160 litres of water. Crazy water. Sorry, crazy amounts of water. But, um, yeah, I don't usually drop it in the bucket, it's just for the uh, video. But I just Straight on the grass here, look. 
just let it do its thing. But look, that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> minging. Absolutely minging. So we've got to drop it for a third time. Um, I'll get my sort of gap down to the bottom. Um, of course, go underneath here as well. There's always there's little nooks and crannies. Well, if you've got an easy bod, you know, you know the deal. A little hideaway spot. Got to get into the cracks, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I don't go mad with that because I've got to drop it again. But, um, yeah, I'm bonza. Right, and that's easy pod drop free. So <clears throat> it's clearing up, so I think that'll be enough. Um, so that's 240 litres. 240 litres of water. Oh, it's still quite murky actually. <laughs> Ming, isn't it? But uh, yeah, I won't drop it again. I'll never go over three to be honest. Um, it should be alright now. I mean, I've got a very small, I mean, the bottom drains here, it's, it's not got a long way to go, you know? Um, but um, what do you want? Sort of. Um, yeah, that's about it. The sponges are back in the back of the shower. So we we'll fill this up, top the pond up, and uh, yeah, that should be that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, show my face. Um, beautiful day, happy Sunday, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Hadouken!